YouTube and today I'm going to be talking about the Smoky Mountains and invasive species in Michigan. So I have my chart and my science notebook with me. And so let's get to our Michigan invasive species. Two of my favorites to learn about is Phragmites and the Emerald Ash Borer. And Phragmites are actually bad to the environment in Michigan because if you don't like kill them or if you don't pull them out and if you don't if you leave them there then they be there and they grow all around so like Phragmites would be like this so here's the first Phragmites it starts growing and 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 growing until all little Phragmites are bunched up in like a hole and then all the Phragmites um all the Phragmites are like in this area, and in this area, they're just standing there. And they'd be there for like, who knows? I live somewhere with Phragmites, and I didn't know I should touch them until I put them in my notebook and learned about them. They're really bad to the environment, so remember that. If you have Phragmites anyway, take a picture and get, um, if you have. Call like a DNR, and you ask ask them, what are these things? I need to know about them. Next, second thing is emerald ash borer, and they dig through. Like, okay, so here's my tree, and this is in it. So this is my like tree. They go in the tree, so they go in my fingers, they go in my tree, and they make all these little holes in like, so all the little stuff on my finger would be the holes. That's the holes, okay? And so, they're just everywhere. And then they come out with a D shape, a D shape right here of your tree. And then that's how you know your emerald is born. They lay eggs there. The eggs eat through the tree. And they come out of the tree. Which I don't like. And one of my other favorites were... Um, buckthorns. Buckthorns are um, these like... Um, they're good but bad for the environment. So... I guarantee not to be by buckthorns because they can be seriously bad and good in a way. They are really pretty to the earth and they're like this huge pretty tree. But same thing with the emerald ash borer. Things get in it, they eat it, and actually Phragmites, if you if you know this, Phragmites are um, a special thing to um, the earth. Because they grow and they grow through the earth and they make this huge little thing in the earth. They make, so Phragmites are like everywhere. If you're by a highway, you're by a highway. If you're by like a street, you're by a street. And the Phragmites will be there in the street. And so like the Phragmites are going to do a big deal with the earth and I don't want to, I have some in my neighborhood, I do not like to see them, I just saw yesterday, I don't want to touch the back my ears. me and my friends are like pulling them out, we're trying to get them out now, because we play with them as wheat, but then they grow everywhere, and we have this little pond, and they, in fried mighties, a fact, they only, they like to grow on wetlands, that is a thing about the fried mighties. and so our Buckthorn, they're the big tree. It's really pretty. It's really pretty to the earth. And I like seeing them. I've seen the two or one before. And so my, the buckthorns are a huge pretty tree, but things grow in the buckthorn. And my people of the internet. And they grow <laughs> in the, um, they grow in there, they eat in there. And then you know that, well, it's a buckthorn. And so, now we're going to go to the Smoky Mountains. 
and the Smokies is one of the, uh, it's, it's a really pretty place, but pe people there don't like seeing these facts, people there love seeing these special things, but they know, don't touch anything, because you will pay a thousand dollars, just so you know, if you go to the Smokies, do not pick any flowers, they can be poisonous, and you have to pay a thousand dollars. I would not like to pay a thousand dollars. Nope. This girl. Nope. Nope. No a thousand. No a thousand dollars. Just so. So this is my hot chart. So let's let me read. Our first one is pine and oak. Pine and oak trees. And they have a lot of threats. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna read two threats of them. Pine and oak are industry slopes. Nevenly exploded to district sunlight or pine and oak forces. So basically, what they're saying is pine and oak trees need to stay away. I have some pine oak trees in Michigan. As I can see, I have one right outside of here. And so it's really not good. I don't like that. I don't. I don't really like. That. I mean, I touch them a lot. I can actually show you some. Right there. That's a pine tree. Or an oak tree. I don't know. But the pine and oak are bad. For, like, they have lots of threats in maybe Michigan. But they have lots and lots and lots of threats in the Smoky Mountains. It's a beautiful place in the Smoky Mountains, actually. And my drawing. And so, and then sometimes, okay, so sometimes fire, sometimes not fire. Pine and oak trees do sometimes need fire, and some of the plants by them don't need fire. So, like, I don't need fire, really, because it can kill me. Let's say this is a pine tree in the oak tree. The pine tree might need fire. But the old tree might not. So, yes, keep that in your mind. You need to have special things. Make sure you take the threats out of there. And so the Hemlock Evergreen Forest is um, a place. It's like a really pretty place. It's that. It's like a river. Some trees, a bunch of grass, and it looks really pretty, really, really pretty. But these are invaders to it. The the threats of it, the threats. I don't think that that's so good. The threats, alien insects. Aliens are not alive. Just so you know, I saw a Prezi yesterday, and I was like, alien, alien invaders. What the heck? And I didn't really want to know about the alien invaders. So yeah. And if you can really read this, you can. This is my DNR signature. She came yesterday and she was, um, like, she was teaching us about, um, things in Michigan that have that. And there's something called a mute bird. They can chase you and they can kill you. Just so you know, that is your big information. <laughs> and like, sometimes it's good to have things, sometimes it's bad to have things. Just so you know, it's always a bad thing to have special things in the world. Like, if you have a bunch of pants in your house, make sure you go look at like, a plant place and if they know about the plant ask them because the plants can be dangerous number one or the plants can be weird weird and dangerous bye YouTube comment down below what is your favorite animal if you've been to the Smokies tell about that if you've been to the if you live in Michigan or anywhere Tell me what your favorite animal is, and I will come check those out. Bye, YouTube.